Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about a, a rigging tip with the new Chatterbait Elite. And what we've done with the Chatterbait Elite is we've got a little bit longer hook shank and we've also added the little bait keeper here. So, uh, you know, one of the things that people have trouble with is trying to get that Elastic product up and over the bait keeper. I want to show you what I do with mine. I, um, I've i got a little flapping cross here and I'm, I use this a lot as a, uh, as a trailer on my chatterbait and what I want to do I'm just going to thread it over the hook shank bring it up and bring it out and what you're going to have to do is take it and just kind of pinch it and push pinch and push but what I want to do before I do all that I'm going to throw me a little little shot of super glue gel on it and what this will do is actually hold that hold that trailer up there just a little bit you don't have to overdo it but just put you a little little drop of gel on there and then I'm going to take this bait and just shove it right up on top of there and like I said you may have to pinch and pull or pinch and push so to speak and then take it and just kind of spread it back out. We're here on Logan Martin this morning and I tell you what we have going on is a shad spawn and one of the things with the chatterbait elite uh, you know it's a great search bait you can take it and fish it around a heavy cover thin cover grass wood rock whatever you can slow roll it burn it I mean it just has so many so many different ways that you can fish it and uh, like I said I use it a lot for search bait uh, you get in an area where you get a couple of bites and uh, you know you can slow down and maybe start pitching something around or I mean it's a great big fish bait too and that's what makes it exciting. And that's one of the reasons that I really like throwing it. Uh, it uh, to me, it just gives you that little bit better quality bite. I mean, that fish right there is a good, you know, three, three and a quarter. And uh, that's kind of make a difference at the end of the day. I grew up fishing river systems and, and you know, I'm used to muddy water and people kind of shy away from muddy water, but this, uh, can't really tell but we have about I'd say less than a foot of visibility here in this river it's been real high and it's been kind of muddy and and um, that's really when I think the chatterbait plays a little bit bigger key than, than, a, than like a spinnerbait uh, just the vibration that it puts out it uh, you know it's a it's a bait that's going to make a lot of commotion down there and anytime you can get around you know dingy water or even muddy water I've caught them in, in water that you can you know, you can barely see the bait underneath the water. So, uh, you know, don't be afraid to throw this bait in uh, dingy water. Actually, dingier water, the better I feel like it is. You know, not only is it 10 times stronger, but it's going to last 100 times longer. So, uh, you know, it's it's a, uh, a real neat combination. Like I said, I don't have to worry about putting anything else back on this bait. It's ready to fish, and I can fish with it all day long. Hey.